January 27, Monday of the third week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you. All sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord Divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Jesus defends himself when he is falsely accused of exorcising demons by the prince of demons. How can Satan fight against himself? His accusers, scribes from Jerusalem, talk out of ignorance. They come to Capernaum to demolish him. They must have passed themselves as authorities in vanguards of their religion to the Galileans who are still in the process of discovering who Jesus is. His accusers blaspheme against the Holy Spirit because they attribute to the devil what belongs to the Spirit. They have maliciously misinterpreted the action of the Holy Spirit in Jesus. The kingdom of God cannot be divided. Satan attempts to divide it. It is not God's will that his son and his followers are disunited. They belong to God's kingdom that stands forever united. Your family, group, association, or company cannot stand when you are divided. You belong to someone else when you cause division. If you are able to unite a divided group, and help sort their differences, you must belong to God.